Welcome back to another Fitness Foundations or Hypermobility Workout. Today we are going through a hip strength focus series and you are going to need two props, a resistance band, something um, light to moderate intensity, this does not need to be the heaviest band you've ever worked with, and something akin to a small stability ball. If you've got one of these babies, that is great. If you don't, a very fluffy pillow, a yoga block, anything that you can place in between your knees and squeeze a little bit is going to work just fine. Um, hip strength is a very finicky issue with hypermobility because oftentimes we can do the lunges, we can do the squats, we can make things look really great, and then we walk away not feeling so great. And as many of us here are probably already aware, it is because our joints have so much more range of motion than our muscles are actually able to support and um, activate with it. So we're gonna start today's series with a little activation drill. This workout is going to be progressive like a few of the workouts in these modules have been um, in that you can do part of this workout just starting with the activation series and if that feels like a big challenge for you maybe just start there if you feel good to progress excuse me progress into some of the more kind of macro bigger exercises that we're going to incorporate you can join me along with them um but no pressure so like i said we're gonna need a ball and a band you're gonna need some space on the floor and we're gonna start flat on your back um just for good measure here to get it out of the way i'm gonna pop the band just above my knees right now. I'm gonna keep the ball close by, but we don't need it quite yet. I'm gonna keep it right down there. And you guys are just gonna join me flat on your back for a little bit of breath. We always start with the breath. Let's just settle in. Big inhales and exhales. As you cycle through the breath, just kind of take note of where your body is. Make any little shifts or adjustments along the way. I don't know about you guys, but for me, my sacrum and pelvis have always been some of the most hypermobile parts of my body, along with the lumbar spine. Um, and as such, have given me the most kind of chronic, <laughs> the most chronic issue. Um, and so this is a series that I really like to do to just help me feel more stable and active and, and grounded in my hips. So whenever you're ready, you guys are going to take a big inhale through the nose and on your exhale, I want you to press your feet into the mat and just feel your bum get a little bit active. And then you're gonna inhale and just kind of relax. And again, exhale. And I say, feel your bum get a little bit active. Some of you guys might not feel it get that active and that is okay. When I first started doing this exercise, I was like, oh, I can't feel my bum squeeze at all. It took a few times. So that is where you are today. This activation series is gonna be very helpful for you. Cycle through this a couple of times with me. We're gonna go for each round of these exercises, we're gonna go for about eight to 10 repetitions. And I want you guys to just like take your time with them. Inhale to release, exhale to press your feet down. You'll feel the backs of the legs get a little active. You'll feel the bum get a little active, hopefully. Inhale, I'm gonna go for about four more. Pushing your feet down. Trying to keep your knees as parallel as you can. Try not to get too much pressure out into the band quite yet. We're coming to that. And again, exhale. And if you guys are feeling wonky or pinchy at all, I will be totally honest. Sometimes I do this exercise and it's like clearer that my sacrum is not in place. This might not be the exercise for you today. But if you're feeling good for it, take a little wiggles. And we're gonna go three more together. 
and I'm doing kind of long presses. Like I'm not just like ee, 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 cause that's not really keeping the hips under tension at all. And I'm going to go one more. Pressing on the exhale. And releasing on the inhale. Now, I am going to grab that stability ball that I had. And we are, in essence, going to do the exact opposite movement. We are going to activate the hip flexors one leg at a time. So I'm going to take my ball and just use it as um, a point of feedback. You can absolutely just use your hand on your thigh or a yoke block. But since I've got the ball handy, this is what I'm using. I would like you to take a big inhale. On your exhale, softly let your spine melt into the mat. If that feels comfortable for you, you are gonna work to keep the pelvis nice and settled on the mat. And on your next exhale, very softly push your thigh into the ball and resist with your hand and then inhale to release and rather than alternate we're going to do about eight to ten on each on each side so repeat on the same side pressing your thigh into your hand as your hand resists that pressure and then inhale and exhale and sometimes when you do these hip series you might feel it all the way up your spine the spine the hips the neck they're all so interconnected as you cycle through the series check in with where your hips are Check in if your butt is getting grippy, all right? If you're feeling your bum tense up, try to relax it. That is such a deeply ingrained compensation pattern in hypermobility. Anytime we want our hip flexors to try and do a thing, your bum takes over. And it can be vice versa as well. All right, I'm gonna go four more. And you'll notice I'm not even moving my foot. Like, the leg isn't actually moving. I'm just creating an activation. That's why I like to call this an activation series. Let's go two more. And I'm gonna go for one more before I switch sides. And relax. All right, I'm gonna switch over. We're gonna do eight on the other side. Keeping the bum kind of just tucked under, the spine pressed into the mat. Exhale. Oh my goodness, this side is harder. <laughs> this hip flexor does not want to do its thing. Let's try again. All sorts of weird stuff happening in my hips. I'm just gonna roll with it. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. I lost count, so we're going three more. I'm pretty sure that's about eight. Last two. One more. And relax. Beautiful job, guys. All right. Since we have the ball handy, we're going to do the inner thigh activation first. So pop the ball in between your knees. The band might still be around your knees, that's totally fine. You can just chill with it. You're gonna take a big inhale, keeping the spine nice and neutral. Exhale to create a little inner thigh activation, squeezing against the ball softly. And then inhale to release. And again, exhale. Squeezing against the inner thighs softly. And then inhale to 
release. And as you cycle through these inner thigh squeezes, I don't want this to be like a full on squeeze and then release and then full on squeeze. It should be almost like when you think of like an acceleration, you're accelerating the squeeze. And then you're decelerating the squeeze. And then you exhale, accelerate the squeeze. Feel that come from the pelvic floor, the lower abdominals, the middle abdominals, the inner thighs. And then decelerate, letting everything expand. Inhale. Let's go three more. Exhale. Letting everything kind of lift up in the body. And then inhaling, letting things softly release. Two more. Exhale. And inhale to softly release. Last one. Exhale. Hold it for a moment. And then inhale, softly release. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. All right, we are going to ditch the ball. And now we are going to do the final portion of the sequence, this activation series. You are going to externally rotate from these outer hips. So starting in parallel, you are going to take a breath and Press your knees out against the band, away from each other. Feel this activation come from your bum. Hold it out there for a moment if that's doable, and because it just feels so good. And then softly come back in towards parallel. And then let's repeat. Pressing out just so far as feels accessible to you. And I would like you guys to really think about this movement coming from your outer hips, coming from that bummy area, and not just digging your feet into the floor to just like swing the knees out. That's the nice thing about having the band here is that, you know, the feet will act as kind of a leverage point. However, ooh, that feels good. You do want to make sure this gets very connected into the hip. So it doesn't matter if it's a very small movement. Hold it at your end range for a moment. Oof, that feels good. And exhale. And I'm gonna go three more just because these feel so lovely. Kind of just breathe in at your own pace here, guys. Two. We're gonna hold out the last one as long as that feels okay to you. Breathe and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and come back up through center. You guys may have noticed I was doing a little bit of shifting there. There was some like nice fluid fascial movement happening as I was going through that series. So some shifts were calling my name, but I hope you guys are feeling good. If you feel up for it, now we can progress into some slightly more macro, larger scale exercises since we've so nicely activated the hips. If you are feeling like done and taxed after that series, go ahead and just call it a day. You can always come back to this video later.